Hi, my name is Kerry Badham and I'm really excited to introduce you today to our brand new giraffe mummy and baby cutter set. The giraffe cutter set consists of two cutters. You've got the mummy giraffe and the baby giraffe. These are the two shapes for cutting out and then you can personalise the giraffe cutters yourself. The paste we recommend that you use for the mummy and baby giraffe cutter set is a modelling paste. You can buy modelling paste or you can make it yourself. It's very easy to do. You just buy a fondant and you add in it a little bit of Tylo. Sometimes it's called Tylos, sometimes it's called Guntrag or CMC. They're all kind of the same thing. It's just a thickener to make your paste nice and firm. So I've added a little bit to my work mat and then I knead it in. So nice and simple and you'll feel it start to firm up as you're doing this. What you want to do is you want to pop this to one side in some clean film or an airtight tub and leave it for a good 30 minutes. It's really good if you can make it up the night before so remember to make up all the colours that you need in advance. You can make up big blocks of it, you use a quarter of a teaspoon to 250 grams of fondant but you will find that it will set quite hard and you've really got to work to knead it but it does come back and it is usable. I've prepared my modelling paste in advance, I've rolled it out and I've left it to dry off a little and make it nice and easy to handle. So it's about two to three millimetres thick, place it on my mat and then place the cutter on top. With your fingers or your hand apply pressure and you'll feel it go through to your mat. Now I like to slide it around, although the cutters are nice and sharp, I find that when I slide it around my mat I get a really nice clean cut. So nice and simple and just pop it through. So now we're ready for decorating. So I'm going to use the Essential Shapes Tappet which is part of the FMM range and I'm going to use the second oval shape down. So I've rolled out my modelling paste, two to three millimetres thick. And again, just place it on top and just flick them out. Nice and easy. For the baby one, I use the, the smaller one. But for this one, this is a great size. If you wanted to, you could roll out your yellow modelling paste and put these on top and then cut them out. You can do it any way you want to. It's entirely up to you. So you just tap out some shapes, it's quite nice, nice and easy. Or if you wanted to, you could use your knife and then you could cut out some giraffe shapes if you wanted to and use those to decorate. So just the same but I thought it gave it a nice soft edge and made it look quite cute when I used the oval shapes. So I'm going to attach these with water. You can use edible glue. So you can cut some in half, quite nice. Just pop them onto, onto your giraffe. You can have a whole one here. This giraffe's face. see here how simple it is so it would be quite nice if we make the colour of those as well so bring over my modelling paste and just just cut out that section <coughs> that we'd like to use you don't need to cut out a whole piece and then you can use your knife and scribe at all just to lift it out nice and easy a nice little touch at the top so again, using the knife and scriber tool, I'm just going to pop a couple of eyes in. You could do one eye if you wanted to and make it look like the giraffe was side on. Or you can put them quite close together here. So I've made a little marking. And you can roll black balls of modelling paste if you want to. Or you can do what I've done and I've used some sugar balls. This makes life so much easier and quicker. You know they're the same size. So you just pop them on. here 
and here. So we want to put a little a little mouth in for our giraffe. It's always quite sweet. We make him look like he's smiling. And if you have a look at the one that we've already made, you can see that I've added some eyebrows and some cheeks to make to add a bit of life and make them look like they've got some character. You can only do this once it's dry. So if you're attaching it to a cake, you can attach that now with water or edible glue. And then once it's dry, you can draw these on. <clears throat> I've used the Rainbow Dust Edible Pen. Over to one side. I use the thin end here. You've got two ends on the pen. So I've used the fine end here. And then for the cheeks, I've used a edible dust, which is something that you may recognize that you mostly use with flowers, but it's fantastic for putting a nice bit of shading on them. So you can dab your thing in it. I always do it in the lid, otherwise you pick up too much. I always rub off a little bit on my hand, and then I add my cheeks. You can do exactly the same with the baby giraffe. The baby giraffe fits perfectly on a cupcake disc, or even straight onto a cupcake which is really nice. So here you go. Here we have your mummy and baby giraffe cutter set. 